Here is your Golfer's Almanac for June 22nd. Today is the birthday of Dustin Johnson, born Dustin Hunter Johnson in 1984 in Columbia, South Carolina. He played golf at Coastal Carolina University and won two collegiate events in three seasons for the Chanticleers, or the Shants, which is a fighting rooster character from Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Coastal Carolina University is an extension of the University of South Carolina, and they are the Gamecocks, another fighting bird. Anyway, Johnson turned pro in 2007 and has won 24 times on the PGA Tour, including the U.S. Open in 2016 at Oakmont and the Masters in 2020. He's only the third golfer to win a tour event in 13 consecutive seasons. Tiger Woods won in 14 seasons and Jack Nicklaus 17. Johnson has been ranked the number one golfer in the world for a total of 130 weeks, third longest since that ranking started in 1986. Johnson joined the Live Golf Tour in 2022, where he won two events and was captain of the Four Aces team that won five of the eight events in the inaugural 2022 season. Happy birthday, DJ. On this day in 1980, Don January won the Atlantic City Senior International the inaugural event on what has become the Champions Tour. That year, there are only four tournaments, two of them majors. Robert DiVincenzo won the U.S. Senior Open, Charlie Sifford won the Sun Tree Classic, and Arnold Palmer won the PGA Seniors Championship. At Beth Page State Park in 2009, Lucas Glover won his only major title, the U.S. Open, two strokes better than Ricky Barnes, David Duvall, and Phil Mickelson. The tournament was delayed by rain on all four days and concluded on Monday. Mickelson was tied for the lead with five holes to play, but made two bogeys and missed a short birdie putt to finish two back. This would be Mickelson's fifth runner-up finish at the U.S. Open, breaking the record for second-place finishes held by Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, Bobby Jones, and Sam Snead, all with four seconds. Mickelson would be runner-up again in the 2013 U.S. Open. On this day in 2014, at Pinehurst No. 2, Michelle Wee won her first major title, the U.S. Women's Open, two strokes better than Stacey Lewis. We had a three-shot lead with three holes to play, but doubled the 16th, birdied the 17th, and then parred 18 for the win. This was her fourth win on the LPGA Tour. Finally, on this day in 2017, Sandy Tatum passed away. He won the NCAA individual title in 1942 while at Stanford and was part of the back-to-back men's championship titles the Cardinal men's golf team won in 1941 and 42. After graduating, he was a Rhodes Scholar and then returned to get his law degree from Stanford. Tatum was president of the USGA in 1978, though before that he was active in bringing the U.S. Open to the Olympic Club in 1955 and then to Pebble Beach for the first time in 1972. Perhaps his greatest legacy is the renovation he spearheaded at Harding Park Golf Club in San Francisco. Harding Park was a municipal golf course that held PGA Tour events as well as the San Francisco City Championships. The course had fallen into disrepair when Tatum restored the golf course, and again, it's now hosting PGA tournaments, including the 2020 PGA Championship won by Colin Morikawa. Thank you, and rest in peace, Mr. Tatum. Here's a quote today from Sir Henry Cotton. I wouldn't advise any professional golfer to marry before the age of 30. Marriage means a division of interests, and golf, particularly tournament golf, demands all of your time. That's it for today in golf history. Play fast, repair all the pitch marks you can find, and keep your golf ball in the short grass. Your Golfer's Almanac is a Golf Tunes production. It's written, produced, and narrated by me, Michael Duranko. I invite you to check out our original golf illustrations and the humor essays that accompany each of the golf cartoons. 
Tour Backspin is a weekly golf history newsletter that celebrates the PGA Tour in the 1960s and 70s with tie-ins to today's tour. They offer a bunch of content, contests, and other interesting bits. See the link in the show notes and subscribe.